In the city of Wilmer, we test the beach at Robbins Island because the city wants to be good stewards for the citizens who are using the beach and they want to make sure it's safe. It's not a state requirement, it is something that the city decided to go above and beyond doing so they can ensure the residents and the citizens who's ever using the beach will be safe while they're using it. So about May through September is when we want to do it, when people are using the water. So we go out once a week, usually Monday mornings, we get a water sample um, using sterile equipment and then we bring that back to our lab and they take a measured amount of the water and they send it through a certain filter and they put it in a growth medium that is the absolute perfect conditions to grow this type of bacteria. It has to incubate for 24 hours so the next day we have our result. And we know if the beach is safe and it can stay open or if it needs to be closed. So weekly the city of Wilmer goes out and tests for fecal coliform bacteria. The fecal coliform bacteria are a group of bacteria that's present in all warm-blooded animals, birds and mammals and humans, and it's present in all of their digestive systems. So it's an indicator that there may be fecal pollutants or feces present in the water. The fecal coliform bacteria is not what's harmful, but it indicates that the bacteria and pathogens that are harmful is also likely in that water. The sources of our fecal coliform bacteria in Robbins Island is mainly the geese and the wildlife population. Other sources could be pet waste that washes off um, during rain events so people aren't picking up after their dogs, other wildlife that, that washes in with rain events. Um, leaking septic systems can also be a source of it, however we don't have individual septic systems around these lakes. They're all serviced by the municipal sanitary sewer system for the city of Wilmer. Rain events often cause the levels of fecal coliform bacteria to increase in surface waters because that will wash all of the goose droppings that are up on the beach into the water and it will also wash all of the pet waste that's on lawns and streets and stuff in the city into those surface waters as well. So last week's rain event likely caused the fecal coliform bacteria counts to go up this week in the lake. The fecal coliform bacteria often increase very quickly when conditions are right. As soon as conditions aren't right, they die off very quickly too. Usually our beaches only have to be closed for a couple of days before the levels go back down. 